Hello everybody! As you may, or honestly probably may not know, uh, because it hasn't been my most viewed series, let's be honest, uh, the CSHL. I wanted to finish it off anyway though, so we're gonna be doing that today, and just to summarize, if this is your first time coming in, or if you just wanted to see the final playoff bracket, then uh, welcome! But yeah, I wanted to do some round robins just to get the placements for these, but essentially what I did is I got eight other content, well, seven other content creators, and then myself included, as you see on the screen right there, and I randomized NHL teams to give to them. Each person got four, mathematically, you know, so we get 32 teams used, and then they were tasked to pick a team from those four teams, and they have to pick five players from each squad. So this is the standings coming into this week. I have a very, very brief highlight reel, I guess, for each game of the, the final week here. Uh, I basically just show the goals. In fact, I, I do just show the goals, all right? It's not basically. That is exactly what I'm doing. So we have the Tigers here against the Bulldogs. Obviously, the Tigers have sort of struggled in this tournament, but they have it 1-1 here. Now, late in the third, Shen battling, and then they just keep giving it back and forth. The No puts one on net, and it trickles in. So the Bulldogs Pull ahead to one, and Malkin would get the empty netter to make it a three to one victory for Boston. There are your three stars. Now the four and two Dragons against the three and three Vancouver Lumberjacks. Here we go. A nice shot from the point. Charlie McAvoy will bury that, make it one nothing for Vancouver. Dry sidle in the slot. Great passing play. Ooh, makes it two nothing for the Lumberjacks. Speaking of great passing plays, how about this one? How you doing? Boom, there's a goal for you. Make that 2-1. I actually had to re-record this audio bit because I got so stumbled up at the fact that Detroit scored and I cut it out that I just had to delete it. There was no recovering from that. But regardless, uh, I cut out one goal, so be it. Regardless, Vancouver wins 4-2. Now we have the Finns and the Whales, 4-2 versus 3-3. Three and three. And the Washington Whales are, in fact, my team. Anders Lee, gonna bury one there to get started, but the Finns would come back and score to tie it up before the second period gets underway. And late-ish in the second period, Monaghan buries one. Verona, he's all over the puck. He is not giving up. He would finally get a goal there to make it 2-2. This had to be the longest shootout of all time. I am not kidding. I'm pretty sure this went to like 20-something rounds. And I was sitting here and I forgot to do the three stars because I was just so flabbergasted at how long it took for that shootout that I just entirely cut that part out. Anyway, um, the 5-1 and one Royals against the 1-5 and five Toronto Tomahawks. 1-1 one, one, very early on here. It took 20 seconds, I believe, for the Royals to get the first goal. And the Tomahawks tied it up real quick. An unfortunate bounce there would put the Royals ahead 2-1. But a splendid pass cross crease to Pavelski would tie it up. Six minutes left in the second period. Look at that hit. He dishes off the puck and just bowls over the guy in front of him. Radulov would bury one. And one more for good measure before the third period just to make it 4-2. to two. However, the Royals not going down without a fight. 33 seconds into the period. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened. But Carey Price almost had a phenomenal save. Went off the post. Hit his back and in. But the 1-5 Toronto Tomahawks come up with the upset. So here are the standings. Heading into the final playoff bracket. And I will... Hand it over to myself so that we can finish off this tournament once and for all. All right, everybody. It is finally that time for anyone that still cares about this series. Um, yeah, it's the finale. So I have set up the playoff bracket based on the round robin play in games. So this is what it looks like. We got the Royals going up against the Tomahawks. Uh, and the Dragons against the Bulldogs on the west side. And then the east side, we have... The Finns against the Tigers and the Lumberjacks versus the Whales. Okay, so yeah, that's how it's shaped up. And let's do this thing. So I'm not going to do a live sim unless it's an elimination game or in the finals. In the finals, we're doing all of the games like that. But for these ones, we're just going to straight up simulate them and see what happens. I meant sim to next game. Wow. All right, well, I guess we're doing it. Never mind. Scratch everything I just said. Ooh, the Tomahawks up one early. Imagine they come out with the upset. Okay. All right, Tomahawks up one nothing after one. Cool, I guess I'll show the three stars while I'm here. Carey Price, stellar performance. Okay. So yeah, the Royals finished 
first, and they are the team that has seemed to be the deadliest at the moment. Everyone thought the Dragons were going to be the best, and I think they finished third, I believe. Anyway, I, I've made the standings this morning, completed them, and now I already forget them. So, regardless, sim to next game. And we have the Bulldogs up one, sim to next game. The Finns up one, and sim to next game. Lumberjacks up one. All right, here we go. Round, or sorry, game two. Round two of the simulations, I suppose. Sim to next game. And here we go. All right, so. Wow, they are all 2-0. No one tied it up at 1-1. Here we go. Sim to next game. The Royals are down 3 nothing. What the heck happened to them? All right, the Dragons finally sneak out a win. Sim to next game. The Tigers get a win there as well. Sim to next game. Okay. All right, so... Two teams on the brink of elimination. The hometown, not really, but uh, your Washington Wales. That's my team. We're about to get swept by Brent's Lumberjacks. And he's also beating the crap out of me in fantasy hockey this week as well. So he is just rent-free in my head right now. Um, yeah, anyway, when this video comes out, he won't be playing me anymore. But as of right now, he is definitely kicking my tuchus. Okay, let's um, simulate here and see if the Tomahawks can pull off a sweep. This is unbelievable. Sim to next game. Nope, the Royals hang on by a thread. All right, they're still in it. Sim to next game. Oh, I guess that was an elimination game. I probably should have simmed that. Anyway, uh, sim to next game. All right, the Finns are almost moving on. And let's see what happens in this one. I'll just do the first, second period thing. Okay. All right. McDavid with two. Ooh. Brent Burns. All right. Let's go, Wales. If it goes into overtime, I'm just going to sim the whole period. But let's see if the... Washington Wales will hold on or if they will be the only team to get swept which I mean it's me if you've watched my channel you know I am something of a professional at getting swept in the first round of anything so we will see yep there it is amazing nice all right that is just poetic incredible first round exit for the Washington Wales here's the three stars okay Robin Leonard played phenomenal McDusty Definitely pulled his weight. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Kane has nine points in four games. So, we got the Tomahawks here and the Royals. This could be an elimination as well. Let's go ahead and first period. Okay. Oh, the Royals. Their backs are right up against the wall here. They are pinned. Will Carey Price be able to carry his Toronto Tomahawks? to a round two after a fairly disappointing play-in um, round robin. I don't know what to call it. I still don't know what to call it. If it's a league, a tournament, I don't know what it is. But anyway, oh boy, I can't believe it. The first place Royals. Wow, Crash, I am very sorry that that just happened. That is a rough go. Wow, okay. Both goalies played phenomenal, but... Yeah, they just couldn't get it done. The Tomahawks move on. So we got the Dragons and the Bulldogs here. Let's sim. All right. And this is an elimination game. The Finns could, in fact, take out the Tigers here. And they are off to a good start. Oh, what a comeback. Incredible second period from Newfoundland. And they only have 19 shots as well. Who does Finn have in net again? I can't remember. Um... Did he get Philadelphia? I think he got Philadelphia, so it might be Carter Hart. But maybe he took someone else. I can't remember. Either way, the Finns just tied it up. And there is five minutes to go. The Tigers had a two-goal lead coming into this third period. And they kind of blew it. You know who it is? It's Shesterkin, I think. I'm trying to remember all the rosters here, and it's kind of hard. But I think it is Igor Shesterkin for the Finns. Anyway, five minutes. Oh, power play for Newfoundland, and they cannot capitalize. Will we be seeing a second overtime? 49 shots from the Finns. Now 50. And the Tigers are at around 40. All right. We are headed to a second overtime. Here we go. And the Tigers pull it off. Sveshnikov on Carter Hart. All right. Well, I feel like he's the backup though. Like maybe they switch goalies after the second period. I don't know. We'll find out next game, I suppose. Three stars. There you go. You know what I could do? Philadelphia stats. Let me see. Yeah, it's Igor. He had a 667. And then Carter Hart had a 964. Wow. All right. An 833 GAA. That's solid. Attaboy, Igor. 
Wow. Well then. Let's see if the dragons will put out the bulldogs or not. Uh, simulate. Yep. Wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing. Alright, it's looking good for the dragons. Oh, tie game heading into three. This will push a game seven, I believe. Will it? I don't know. Anyway, Tavares scores on Merzlikens and gets the dragons ahead. Another power play for the dragons and they will not capitalize on that one. Ten minutes to go. Whoa, Jones puts in another one. Gets the dragons. That comfort of a two-goal lead and it looks like that will do it. The Bulldogs have been eliminated. All right, so three teams are now gone. There's the three stars for you. And continue. Okay, so this is the re only remaining series in round one. Yeah, okay, I was just double-checking. Wanted to make sure. Uh, simulate. Here we go. Boom. The Finns up one nothing, And the Finn. Okay, that's it. I'm just going to sim it. It's done. Oh, 7-3. Jeez, that got out of control quick. Well, there's the stats. Or three stars, I should say. Incredible performance from the Finns. And we are on to round number two. So we have the Tomahawks and the Dragons. And then we have the Lumberjacks and the Finns. So let's see how this goes. Let's do this thing. Sim to next game. And the Tomahawks are up 1-0. Sim to next game. The Finns are up 1-0. Sim. Oh my, the Tomahawks are up by two. Wow. Finns and Lumberjacks. And the Finns are up by two. Okay, so two teams will start off with a very, very solid series, and two teams will not. It is 2 0. Sim to next game. Wow. I can't believe the Tomahawks right now. Phil, what is going on? All right, the Lumberjacks managed to win one, though, and make it 2 1. The Dragons could be eliminated here by the Toronto Tomahawks. First period. Okay, there you go, Dragons. Oh, let's go to the third period and see what happens here. Will the Dragons hold on or will they be swept by the Toronto Tomahawks, who will be moving on to the finals if they win this? They had a power play. They weren't able to capitalize. And it's sort of looking like the Dragons are going to hold on. Yo, what? 15 seconds left. Forsberg scores on Vasilevsky. Wow! Now they have a power play. They can't capitalize, though. Shots are definitely in favor of the Dragons, and Braden Point will score to make sure his team is not deleted from the tournament. There you go. Both goalies played phenomenal. Forsberg with one and one. Wow, what a game. Okay. We have the Finns and Lumberjacks again. Let's see if the Finns will be one away from victory. No, they will not. The Lumberjacks tie it up and make it a best of five, three. Best of three. Yeah. <laughs> Best of three. Okay. Let's see what happens here now. The Dragons still on the brink. They could be Dunions. Let's first period. Oh, that's a good start for Toronto. Tie game heading into three. Here we go. 20 shots apiece. And this has been... I mean, the simulation games, I don't know how close they were, but Toronto went up 3-0. And then the two simulation games that we've actually jumped into so far have been incredibly close. So this really is still anybody's series, although the actual score in this series says otherwise. All right. Overtime. And the Dragons score again. Tavares will get the overtime winner. And they are here to fight another day. Wow. Okay. Let's see how the best of three kicks off. Sim to next game. The Lumberjacks now. Win three straight, and it is a 3-2 to two series. That is unbelievable. All right, Dragons again. Will they manage to push a Game 7? They've had quite the pushback, but let's see if they are able to win another one. That's a good start for the Tomahawks. Oh, my. All right, the Dragons are here to play. They are not going down without a fight, and they might, in fact, be able to pull off a reverse sweep. They might be able to do it. Tomahawks have collapsed. After winning the first three, I'm just going to send the period. It's done. 6-1. Wow. Okay, three stars. There you have it. Incredible comeback for the Dragons. They have pushed a game seven. And now this game is also an elimination game because the Lumberjacks could be moving on. First period. The Finns off to a good start. Oh, no. A bad second period, however. All right, let's see how the third goes. 
Will Vancouver be our first team in the finals, or will the Finns push a Game 7 like the Dragons? Halfway through the third period, power play for the Finns, and they manage to tie it up. 3-3. Okay, another power play. Five minutes, not able to capitalize on that one. Actually, okay, that goal was a power play goal. Let's go. Overtime. If someone on Vancouver scores, they are into the finals. If someone on the Finns scores, there is a Game 7, and the Lumberjacks are moving into the finals as Patrice Bergeron will score an overtime goal. There you have it, the three stars. All right, so Brent is in the finals. Let's find out if Brent will be going up against Phil the Thrill or if Brent will be going up against Tactics HD. Game 7, simulate. This would be heartbreaking for the Dragons after that comeback if they lose. First period, 1-1. One, one. Second, 3-3. Three, three. Oh, my days. Who will be making it to the finals? Power play for Toronto. Not able to capitalize. Really not a whole lot of shots. Well, I guess it's starting to go up there now, but to start the third period, there wasn't a ton. Five minutes left. Are we going to see an overtime for which team... We'll be making it to the finals. Yes, we will. The golden goal will send one of these teams through the finals, and it's going to be the Dragons. They pull off the reverse sweep, a shorthanded goal in overtime. Unbelievable. Three stars. There you go. What a game for Victor Hedman. Suzuki and Jones doing great as well. All right. Wow, we have our two finalists. It is the Detroit Dragons. And the Vancouver Lumberjacks. So as this is the finals, let's actually show the playoff bracket first. So that is how it went down to get to this point. And I'll go look at all the individual player stats after this. And I'll look for each team, obviously, because some teams didn't make a pass round one. Some teams didn't make a pass round two. So they're going to have less games played. But right now, McDusty is leading with 16 points in 10 games. Let's see how this series goes. Simulate. Detroit Dragons, Vancouver Lumberjacks, X-Tech versus Tactics HD. Let us get past the first period. 1-0 for the Dragons. Second period, 2-1 as we head into three. Will the Dragons get the first series lead here in the finals? Or will Vancouver have a fighting back third period and manage to get their hands on that first victory? Dragons on the power play, not able to capitalize. Five minutes left. The Dragons get another goal from Lindholm and then an empty netter from Stamkos. And that will do it. The Dragons take home game number one here of the finals. Vasilevsky once again stealing the show. He has been playing outstanding this tournament. All right. one nothing for the Dragons. Let's keep it rolling. And again, one nothing for the Dragons. Second period, 1-1. One, one. Tie game heading into three. Shots are about even. Another power play for the Dragons. And once again, they can't capitalize. But Stamkos will score on Leonard. Another power play for the Dragons. What are the Lumberjacks doing? Brent, you got to get in there. Give your team some pep talk. Oh, he did it. He actually did it. The Mad Lad. Dreisaitl ties it up. It is 2-2. As time is running out here. A power play for Vancouver. And we are headed to OT. Shots are dead even at 38. Another power play for Vancouver. Not able to score. Power play back the other way. Still no score here. Another power play. Man, these penalty kills are doing phenomenal. Will we see a second overtime? It's looking like we might. Yes, we are. All right, OT2. Power play and another shorthanded goal for the Dragons in overtime. A 3-2 victory and they have the 2-0 series lead now. There you go. The three stars of the game. Vasilevsky once again in that category. Game three. Vancouver's got to do something here. First period. 1-1. One, one. Second period. All right. The Dragons have the lead going into three. Shots are definitely in favor of Vancouver, however. And Vancouver has a power play. Not able to score. Vasilevsky, man. This guy is single-handedly winning this tournament. 37 shots and only one goal. And is that going to be it? Wow, all right. It could be a sweep in the finals. The Dragons win again. Vasilevsky first star again. Dude, you got to chill out. All right. 
This is it. The Dragons one game away from winning the entirety of this league tournament again, whatever you want to call it. The CSHL. First period. Oh, okay, the Lumberjacks not going down without a fight. 2-0 into period three. Will they be able to hold on to this lead? That is the question. Robin Leonard has been playing outstanding so far. And it looks like they're doing pretty good so far. And power play for them. Not able to score. Five minutes left. They get another one. Taylor Hall. That is probably going to do it. Kane does fight back right away. But it's not going to be enough. McDusty with the empty net goal. That will give the Vancouver Lumberjacks at least one win in this series. And there you go. The three stars. Robin Leonard played phenomenal that game. He was up to the... Challenge of Vasilevsky that time. All right. Sim this one as well. First period. 1-0 for the Dragons. 2-1 for the Dragons. The series is on the line here. Zaka scores to make it 2-2 in the third period. Will Vancouver be able to get another one? Or will this tournament be over? They do get another one. Jack Hughes scores. Makes it 3-2 for Vancouver. Another goal, Dreisaitl! Oh my word, Dreisaitl scores again immediately right after. Not a great performance from Vazzy in that one. When I told him to chill, I guess he took that personally. Three stars, Robin Leonard's up there again. And then we got Nurse and Dreisaitl as the other two stars. Okay, we have ourselves a series. It is now 3-2. Will we be seeing a Game 7? Or will the Dragons not allow it to get that far? First period is done and no score. 1-1. One, one. We have a tie game going into three again. It's been a fair amount of these. Vancouver strikes first in the third. Nico puts Vancouver up 2-1. to one. Halfway through the third period, Detroit gets a power play. And they manage to get a goal right after it, actually. That was just a regular goal. Stamkos puts one in. A power play goal for Jack Eichel. Puts Vancouver in the lead. Oh my word, Detroit <laughs> strikes back. And we are headed to overtime. Wow, this is what dreams are made of. If Detroit scores here, it's all done. If Vancouver scores here, we have a game seven. Shots are in favor of Vancouver at the moment, but Detroit took that personally as well. Started to come back. A power play for Detroit. And the Detroit Dragons win the tournament. Will Nye, the overtime guy, puts one in past Robin Leonard. And there you have it. Tactics HD is your tournament winner, league winner, whatever you want to call it. There you have it. All right. The Detroit Dragons Stanley Cup champions playoff mode is now complete. Let's have a look at the stats, shall we? So McDavid had the most in the entire league with 21. We had 19 from Matthews, 18 from Stamkos. And actually, in 16 games played, Jack Eichel had 15. So he's kind of up there as well, but... Um, I guess McDavid also only played 16, so <laughs> he played 16 and had the most points by two. Matthews had three more games than him. Anyway, uh, let's just kind of scroll down here. Oh, I'm going to go to the individual teams anyway, so I don't really need to do that. Allow me to check out the goaltenders. So here you go. There was some goalies that had to come in in relief, clearly. Connor Hellebuck, yeah, he got swept in the first round, did not have a good time. An 8.95. Gibson only played one game for the Dragons. Who's their other goalie? Oh, Vazzy. Okay, duh. <laughs> yeah. How do, how'd I forget that? Anyway. Look at this guy. 914, 276. And then a 925 for Carey Price and 234. Kemper played five games, had a 935. All right, interesting. So that's how the goalies turned out. I don't really need to go to them now. I want to check out the team specifically so here you go Sidney Crosby had the most points for the Bulldogs he had seven in six games uh, he was a dash five though Gensel had six and so did Voracek and Kaprizov and then there you go here's the uh the rest of the team there let's go to the Detroit Dragons Matthews with 19 Stamkos 18 Kane 17 yeah what a team what a team this is your champion right there uh, the LA Royals, a very disappointing first round exit after finishing first in the play-ins. But yeah, here you go. Not a tremendous showing from them. Newfoundland, just never really got anything going this tournament. I'm sorry, Newfie Bullet. 
But, uh, it just didn't work out for you in this one. To be fair, I mean, you know, it is, as I mentioned, this team could have been insane. Who really knows? Like, I mean, it is an incredible team. I don't know why they weren't clicking. They had Svechnikov. Uh, they had Huberdo, Barkov, Kairou, who's now an 87, Tarasenko. They, yeah, Sebastian Aho. They have a lot of very good players here. I just, it just didn't work out. Something was off. The Finns, Ovechkin had 13. So did Lindholm. And then Backstrom was point a game, as well as Carlson. And then I'll scroll through here. Panarin only put up eight. That's kind of surprising. Fox is on this team as well. Kuznetsov put up one point in 12 games at 88 overall. Love to see that. Okay. The Toronto Tomahawks. Seven points from Forsberg and Suzuki. Radulov, Yossi Hughes put up six. And then we got a bunch of players of five there. All right. So there's your Toronto Tomahawks. The Vancouver Lumberjacks. Obviously, McDavid led the league with 21 points. Pasta put up 15. So did Eichel. And then I'll just scroll through the team here as well. And last and absolutely least, we have the Washington Wales. What a pathetic showing. Three points from Connor and Ehlers. Burns put up two. So did Barzell and Shifley. And this is just absolutely disappointing. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, thank you for those of you who sticked around. I know that uh, stuck around. Sticked is not a word. Unless, like, no, I don't think it's a word. <laughs> stuck around. Yeah, the Dragons ended up winning. I appreciate you guys. And I know that some of you did enjoy this series. So, uh, yeah, this is for you. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.